Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. On tap is what should be a pretty good matchup between the New York Jets and the Detroit Lions. With that, let's head inside the Ford Field in Detroit. We're standing by are the two men who will bring you this one, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels, and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with the New York Jets. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that can have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Leading the Jets out, the number three pick from this year's draft, Sam Darnold and Charles, through three weeks of the preseason, I would say he looks every bit the part of a starter in the NFL. And to me, what you're talking about doesn't involve numbers. The numbers are fine, but that's not what makes it up. How's he handling the offense? Is he playing with poise? Does he have the confidence of his teammates around him? It appears that he has all of those attributes, and the stage is definitely not too big for him. second and three. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. him a new set of downs so many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays but i love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation that's almost a tendency breaker up front in the trenches what do you think of the o-line charles i love them because this is a group that's so cohesive they know what the man next to them is going to do at all times and they operate as a terrific unit It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It's a game of three, and it gets him to first. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. 
So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Here we go now. A first down carry now for Cryo. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. As we see the Detroit Lions defensive starters, you talk about the D-line, Charles, that unit got a couple new faces. Robert Ayers, veteran pass rusher, coming over for a one-year deal. In addition, they got Eli Harold, another outside linebacker defensive end type from San Francisco to try and fortify the defensive line. I think about Robert Ayers and what one of his teammates at the Buccaneers told me. This guy wakes up in a bad mood every day. Mm. It's exactly what you want from a defensive end. Second down, Darnold. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Anderson. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in this paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he's able to hold on to the football. Just like that, it's third down. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. They'll try to run for it with Cornell. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On now is the kicker, Jason Myers, for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. In for the score. And the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. Now Matt Prater for the point after. Prater for the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game.
Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. Begin with a run by Crowell. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Set, three, 19. Ah! They keep it with Crowell on first. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. The insistence of speed at every position is really seen at the defensive end spot. These guys in the old days were often outside linebackers. They just pushed them forward because they wanted to play fast and get to the quarterback or the running backs quicker than ever before. Second down. They hits Jermaine Curse. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. Sometimes it seems like a tough world out there. Many thought Sam Darnold would go number one overall to the Browns. And he fell to number three to the New York Jets. I think he fell to a great situation. He gets to go to New York with a rebuilding team, take over the job right then and there. And while many were expecting Broadway Baker Mayfield, instead, they got sudden Sam Darnold. And I think the Jets fans are going to be very happy to have him. Here we go now. Three, nine, two, On first down, Darnold dumps off to Powell. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Give him six on the play, and it'll be second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots down the field. To throw is Darnold. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Here's a give to Crowell. And an alley to run. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. Now on 
off the bootleg. Darnold, he's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. First red zone opportunity now for the Jets. First and 10 right at the 20. Crowell. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Isaiah Crowell taking it in from the 20. And the Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball, too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Jason Myers now for the extra point. Extra point up and through by Myers. And we are tied at seven. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's capped off by an Isaiah Crowell touchdown run. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their 10th-year quarterback. This is his first season in his 30s. 30-year-old 30 out of Georgia, it's Matthew Stafford. One thing you ask for from your quarterback, improvement each and every season. You also ask for consistency. Matthew Stafford, seven straight years, over 4,000 yards passing. He's still looking for that initial playoff victory during his tenure, but I think that he's been leading them towards it and has a chance to get it in the upcoming future. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 26. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Neutral zone infraction, defense. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Still first down. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. Now a play fake here on first down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. And now the offense for Detroit. One way I really judge a player's value is when opponents know what your strengths are, yet they still can't take that away. That tells me you're a heck of a player. And for Theo Riddick, everyone knows about his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield. Yet he's still the primary target for Matthew Stafford on just about any passing situation. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now the Notre Dame man, this is Theo Riddick. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. 
Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Now a first down throw, Stanford. Caught right side, Tate. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. Looking downfield for Jones. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time, and it's third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Third and long, it's Stanford. This is Riddick on the screen. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. A touchdown apiece here in this first quarter of play. Seven all is the score. We're back to the Motor City after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you and you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Here with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, as the Lions are in possession of the football here to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. Full start offense. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. A false start backs him up five. First and 15. He'll run 
out of here and run. Down to about the 22 here. And a nice run to get him past the original line of scrimmage. A gain of seven. It's second and eight now. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. before he was planted in the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. to throw. Stafford. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Only two on the screen pass there, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. So on fourth down, the Lions turn it over to Matt Prater for the field goal try. It's a 39-yard attempt, right hash. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder... Are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And we shift our focus to Isaiah Crowell. So he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, they've got to do something to slow down their runners. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally... I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yeah. I've got to slow down the run. I was just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game over the top until you can prove that you can stop the running game. Sometimes you go cold because you haven't thrown it in a while. Let's see if he can heat up again. That one's complete to Townlinson. A gain of six there on first. Now, that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Let's go! Blue Landy! Blue Landy! To throw on second down is Donald. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, 
You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. catch there brings up second down in so many ways throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter second and five after the five-yard completion on first down again darnold to the sideline wow what a catch doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Let's go! 319! On third down, Crowell. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. You talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Hurry up, here we go. 319. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. All right, here we go. Boom, line it. They go again with Powell. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Let's go! Green, 39! Throwing here on third down, Darnold. And an alley to run. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And down to the 16-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. This quarterback now 10 of 10 to start the game. How about that? As he comes up on a first and 10. Here we go. 319. Darnold for the red zone now. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. As his guys are in for six. And the Jets are able to strike for six. All drives that result in points hurt a defense. But when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. The extra point now coming from Myers. Myers connects on the PAT, and the lead is now 14 to 10. 
That time, a nine-play drive. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Here's Myers now to kick it away. On well, the return, here comes Amir Abdullah. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 24. The drive starts with a handoff to Blow. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I say the staff that's up in the booth watching the game, they may want to file that one away. See how fast the free safety closed to make that play? Might want to check into a throw the next time. started now it's third and ten well he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far and after that last run not much is going to change in that area he hasn't been able to get anything going and really the offensive line not helping him much throwing on third down stanford and he'll find that today that's complete and he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. From the 
from the 50. Stafford. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. We got three, we got three, fellas, we got three. Back to the air, Stafford on second down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. The Lions on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. So the offense, a little antsy. The flag comes out, and a five-yard penalty. Full start, offense. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. This third down just got even more difficult. Third down and 15 after the false start. Throwing on third and long. Stafford. The completion to Ritter. So a good spin move there before he's taken down. A nice little game. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Whistles come in before the snap. Looked like one of the Jets may have moved. False start. Offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. second down now that's the defense that they were looking for being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball you really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him all right here we go Three, 19. on second down here's Corral and not much there as he gets it up to about the five yard line Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Ford Field after this. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. The Jets on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and nine. Let's go! Three, 19! 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll get him down up past the 15. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Hey, 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 hey. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Green. Second down and ten, Darnold. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Let's go! 319! Throwing again is Donald. The grab made by Curse over the middle. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. This quarterback now, pretty remarkable. 14 of 15 through the air, only one incompletion. And another first and 10 Let's here. Go. Green, 39! Green, 39! Ah. On first and 10, Darnold. And his throw is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Jermaine Curse. And now it's second down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but... They took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here we go now. Blue line it. Blue line it. Play action. It's Darnold. And he finds a man with a crossing route. 
And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He had his lone attempt blocked earlier. And Myers able to knock it through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So this time the protection holds up for him just fine, and he's able to bang it through. I think their special teams coach got the point across. He gave him a pretty good earful after the block earlier. And this time, there's no penetration, so they're able to pick up three. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. Now Abdullah, the return. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Shot before the break, Stanford. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon Gods. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk? when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission. Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. 180! 
They start on the ground here with Blonde. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Oh, hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And it's a touchdown for the Jets. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Now Myers for the extra point. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Now Abdullah, the return. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Detroit getting set to go now. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, and suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. Taken down at the 31 yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Lions on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. Now Stafford. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. And the screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off.
Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the second time. is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. And New York set to take the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? If they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? On the give, this is their fullback. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defensive coordinator. Body after body getting to him before he can get started. can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. He was brought down by Devon Kennard. Right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle? Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. On the run, it's Crowell. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. But just like you said, they've got the lead, don't do anything silly, run the football, and that's what they did. They would have liked to have created a little more room for their punter, but he'll take what they gave him, and he'll go out there now and try and get the ball off and help his defense. Here's Lachlan Edwards now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Look at the dance and the juke! Good coverage there. An even 50-yard punt leads to a return of five. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. On first down, Stafford here. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Tate. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Second down, here's Stafford. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. The Lions on third down, two for five to this point. Here it's third and two. Here's Blue. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. 
sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Detroit. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. So out now come the Jets. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Chased out left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Jets on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and six. Set, three, nine, nine. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. And incomplete here on third down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Here's Lachlan Edwards now, standing just outside his own goal line. Taking it about the 36. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and 10. And Detroit getting set to go now. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. and brings up second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Now a carry for Blunt, and he's got Rome. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. 
The Lions on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and four. You ready? You ready? Put your hat up. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Here is Matt Prater now. He's got the leg for this as he holds the NFL record with a 64-yarder back in 2013. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Now the Jets offense, they get ready to head back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. Set! Green, 39! Out of the shotgun, here's Donald. And it's incomplete. The former pro bowler Glover Quinn there making the play. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here we go now. Green, 39. A play fake, and it's Darnold. And he fires one that's intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield. The 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. The big boy's big dream right there. He got to rumble and stumble all the way for six. Nothing like big man with football, is there? I mean, that brings people onto their feet every single time. And his dream was answered on that one, wasn't it? It was realized. He picks it off and takes it to the end zone. Now Prater to add the PAT. Extra point good by Prater. And that cuts the lead to 24-17. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Gets fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And New York set to take the field.
They start the drive with a give to Powell. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Corral. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Snap for Darnold. And a quick throw here. That's complete. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he Let's is, go. and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice blitz coming, and down he goes. Christian Jones coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. The Jets on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third down and 12. Uh, here we go. Boom, ah! Darnold from the gun. Complete out right to Curtis. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. First down, it's Darnold. To the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time, and a first down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. This quarterback now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. They go back to the ground now with Crowell. And down inside the 15 he goes. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Here we go now. Green three. First down, and they'll try to run the option left. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. So the myth has been shattered. 
Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. Delay of game, offense. And yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still second down. Second down, here's an option right. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. play so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close we'll return with more after this this is the nfl and it's on ea sports back now at ford field it's jet football as they've got the lead here and we get set to begin quarter number four The Jets on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and 17. Here we go. Third and long, it's Darnold. Dumps off to Powell. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. And Myers able to knock it through. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. Now Abdullah, the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here come the Lions now. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal always hurts a team because you know you've put something out there you've given yourself a chance you're in range and the ball doesn't go through the post but it's not something to panic about i don't believe just keep playing and keep going stafford and the lions now have it first and 10 at their own 26. Now a play fake here on first down. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And they do 
finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. A big play there for Detroit. 49 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 25 yard line. Now a first down throw. Stafford. Screen pass to Blunt. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Stafford now. A perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Set, lady. <laughs> From the red zone now, Stafford. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. The Lions on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and eight. Out of the gun, Stafford. Catch made right side by Wilson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash here should be an easy one. good and this is back down to a seven point game that drive took him inside the 10 good job defensively to hold him to three yeah i like how you did that give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation right made them kick the field goal and yeah points went against them but that feels a whole lot better running off the field Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. The Jets' offensive unit ready to get going here. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one-score game, and on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine taking the <laughs> pulse right now? It might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball. But here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing 
not to lose as opposed to playing to win. And they've got to get back to that, and that means opening things up again, being a little more free in what they're trying to get done on offense. Now Donald throwing the slant pattern here complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Darnold now on second down. That one's complete to Tomlinson. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. Now the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. The Jets on third down, five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and three. Hurry up, here we go. Ah! Darnold on third down. And that is incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Here's Lachlan Edwards now as he's on to punt for New York. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> On first and ten, Stafford. He's going to sling this deep downfield. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Second and ten, Stafford again. And finding the tight end, Wilson. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. The Lions on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This will be third and six. From the gun, here's Stafford. Out to the right here to Wilson. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Jets will take over first and 10. And the Jets set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play.
They'll run with Crowell. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Saw him through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. This is Crowell, and he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. Holding offense. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block would be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Set, three, 19. Ah! Here's Darnold. He's going to wind up and air it out. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. It's the 2014 NFL interception leader, Glover Quinn. And that was a young pup, the rookie, being intercepted by a veteran DB. And I loved our quick conversation in pregame with him on the field where he said, hey, look, I love playing these young quarterbacks. They don't know a whole lot yet, so I can use my mind to put me in a position to make a play. And Detroit getting set to go now. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 right at the 30. After the interception, here's Stafford. And on the left side here, Wilson get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They got 18 yards out of that one and it gets him a new set of downs. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. This is Reddick on the screen. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. From the 50, Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be down deep into Jet territory. Holding offense. 
Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. To throw on second down to Stanford. Wide open receiver complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. 23 yards on the play. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37 yard line. Set, go 20. <laughs> Stafford on first down. Now they go screen. It's complete. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. To the air again. Stafford. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Jones. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. First target, first catch, and a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at it, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. Stafford going to come up first and 10. And he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. <laughs> on first down, Stafford here. The completion to Riddle. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. decision to make on the conversion down seven but first things first they need to score as they come up on first and goal they'll try and run for it on first and goal and they'll be driven back here losing yardage to the nine it's a loss of two there bringing up second down time for a break we'll come back see what transpires after this So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And they're knocking on the door. Second and goal now in a one-score game. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. False start offense. And maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. 
things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. On second down, here's Stafford. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. Back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, normally in this situation, when you're talking about having to go for it, everything is in this play. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually have a little bit of a safety net. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. All start offense. That's going to set him back five yards. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. And here's motion again, and that's going to be two in a row. False start, offense. So that one will be accepted. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Jets are going to get the football back. Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more. And, it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way depending on who converts on fourth down. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. So the ref makes a call, no touchdown there, wipe it off the board. stop us momentarily as they call a timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play
timeout called by the Lions. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Right back to him on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. to throw the football and he can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game and normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players but let's adopt it in this case he's a stack sheet stuffer and the interception earlier now is sack but he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta that's about all he needs and he's gonna go for it Looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. Now it's Crowell. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Here's Lachlan Edwards now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And we'll see what he can do on the return. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten. One last throw here for Stanford. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Detroit.